why the additional 15 minutes? You know, that's the question that first turned my suspicions toward Miss Wheeler. It has to be answered. It can't be dismissed. Ned, remember that Caribbean picture we did? There was a tiny, tiny part of the hotel clerk. We weren't even in the scene. Well, guess who it was? Uh, I don't know. Donald Meek. Donald Meek. I had no idea. There's Edward Arnold. I knew he was in it, but Donald Meek? I mean... Well, one second, I'll find walking my baby. It's your job to answer questions, Lieutenant. The film broke. The film broke. You can see the actual splice. You can see where the film is mended together. 30 frames are missing. Oh, that's innocent enough. You know, it counts for the missing time. The film broke and had to be repaired. That would depend on how long it takes to repair it, wouldn't you say? The film I is don't ready, follow then. you, Lieutenant. Gentlemen, we are ready. Oh, that picture. It's just marvelous of you, but it's horrid, just awful of me. Lieutenant, you want to laugh? Look at those shoes. <laughs> they are funny, aren't they? Aren't they? But you were pretty. They didn't affect your eyes. Oh, my, you are a dear. Well, the hors d'oeuvres are here. Make yourselves comfortable. Would you like your drink freshened? No, oh, thank you. All right, Lieutenant. Why don't you sit over there? You may start the film, Raymond. Very good, madame. That's what happened the night her husband died. You're responsible for this. Yes. I tampered with the film to make sure it would break. You've lost me completely, Lieutenant. Let's see how long it takes her to repair the film. Seems to know what she's doing. Knows how to work the spice. You see, actually, this is a very simple procedure. Even a child could do it. How are you doing, Miss Wheeler? I could scream. I, it makes me so mad, I could scream. I get nervous when things don't go right. But it'll be just a minute. I'm, I'm almost ready. It's been 30 seconds. She said she's almost done. Do you see the problem? We have to account for 15 minutes. Let's say it takes her four minutes to repair the film. How do we account for the remaining 11 minutes? It has to be one of four possibilities. She was sitting here watching the film, and the film broke. One, she could go out in the kitchen and ask Raymond to fix it. We know she didn't do that. Or two, she's sitting here, the film breaks. And all by herself, she sits here for 11 minutes and she watches a white screen. And then she decides to go in there and she fixes it. It takes four minutes or three. It breaks. She goes back there, it takes four minutes to fix it. And then she stands on her head for 11 minutes. Or four. The film breaks. But she doesn't know it. Because she is not in the screening room. She's not watching a film. She's upstairs in her husband's bedroom firing a pistol. And while she's out of the room, this film is not running. And that accounts for the 11 minutes. And now she comes back. And she sees that the film is broken. She takes four minutes to fix it. And that adds up to 15 minutes that the film is not running. And that's her is why the film took two hours 
instead of an hour and 45 minutes. almost done. It's been about three minutes. There's no doubt she did it. But I have a problem with this case. I went looking in Dr. Willis's files to see what I could find out about his house. I found this. Under the name of Rosemary Landon. As you can see, the patient has an inoperable aneurysm of the brain. That's a weak spot in the artery. Where's Mary Langdon? Rosie. Rosie. That was Dr. Willis's code name for his wife. He didn't want her to know anything about it. That is a progressive memory disease that knocks out the memory cells. She can recall things from a long time ago, but she's very shaky about anything now. That's how I knew that Dr. Willis would never consent to her resuming her career, because the strain of performing could literally kill her at any moment. My God. And he never told her. How long has she got? A week, a month, two months on the outside. My problem, sir, is... I don't believe that she even remembers killing him. Walking my baby, walking my baby back home. But, but kill Henry. All you've got is proof that it wasn't a suicide. What are you talking about? Are you still saying that my husband was murdered? Yes, ma'am. How can you possibly think that someone in this house killed my husband? He took his own life. No, ma'am. No, he didn't. Just a minute, Lieutenant. I want to know what the all that this Lieutenant is trying to say. Ma'am, the other evening, we you weren't... This has gone on long enough. I killed Henry. I took the gun out of the glove compartment. I came through a rear window. I went up to his room and I shot him. And I made good my escape over the balcony. You don't know what you're saying. It's true, Grace. It's no. true. No, it can't be true. Why? Why would you do anything like that? Why? For you, Grace. For you, Grace. For you. For me? Henry was preventing you from assuming your rightful position as a star. What am I going to do? Oh, you'll be all right, Grace. My Grace will be all right. No. I can't do anything without you. I'll just wait. That's what I'll do. I'll take a long rest. And rest. I'll just rest. Isn't that a good idea? That's what you should do, Grace. Now you sit over here and you watch Rosie. Just watch. Rosie. Shall we go, Lieutenant? It's not going to take much to break your story. It might take a couple of months. Just one more. 